let's have a look at these two sentences. Ich kann nicht zahlen, denn ich habe kein Geld dabei. And the second one, ich kann nicht zahlen, weil ich kein Geld dabei habe. Now, these sentences actually mean exactly the same thing. The only difference is the word den in the first and the word weil in the second. The sentences both mean I can't pay because I don't have any money on me. But notice how the word for because, which is den in the first and weil in the second, how that actually changes the rest of the sentence. In the first sentence, the word order is exactly as you'd expect in English. Because I have no money on me. Of course, in English, we would have, in addition to that, the word do, which we need if we're going to negate a verb, do not have or don't have. So that would add a bit of complexity, but essentially the word order is the same. And that's why I actually teach den to my beginners, students of German who are older adolescents, because it's so similar to English. In the second sentence, look what Weil does. Because I no money on me have. Now, we could look at den and Weil and say, well, there is a slight difference in meaning. Den sort of more translates as for or since into English, whereas Weil is definitely because. And you can't start a sentence with a den clause. This um, clause here has to be in that second uh, position in terms of clauses. But really, I want to look at the word order. Den is what's called a coordinating conjunction. And weil, on the other hand, is what's called a subordinating conjunction. They're big words, but they're helpful categories. One of the main things that they mean is that a conjunction like weil is going to send the verb to the end of the sentence or the end of the clause, whereas den stands in zero position. We have a pronoun in first position and as always a verb in the second position. One final thing to notice is that you can see the word dabei habe is one word, whereas in the first sentence it's two words, habe and then dabei. That indicates that it's what's known as a separable verb and it's separating into two parts in a coordinate clause where it's the first verb, whereas is pressed together and in its conjugated form in a subordinate clause where it's the first verb. This is the infinitive, by the way.